Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another charging site review. I'm here in Truckee, California charging up at a new Electrify America charging site that recently went live. This site is basically right near the top of the Sierra Nevada mountain range along Interstate 80 uh, and the uh, Highway 89 junction heading down to like South Lake Tahoe. Uh, the site features four ABB chargers. There are two 350 kilowatt and then two 150 kilowatt chargers with the one Chatamo head. So pretty standard in the site design. This site layout is pretty compact as well. So the uh, Chatamo charger is actually much closer to these other CCS chargers uh, than you typically see on other sites. But then again, this is actually a fairly small um, parking lot. And uh, so everything I think is a little bit more compressed together, a little bit more compact. But this is going to be a really great site. It, it shares a location with an EVgo charger that's already here. A pair of 100 amp uh, 50 kilowatt uh, EVgo chargers that are on the other side of the facility. So there's redundancy here anyway and backup chargers. Uh, but I really like this site. I think it's a really important site. It's going to see a lot of use. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just jump right into the site score. So for access, and this is rare, I'm going to give this a full 10 out of 10. And the reason for that is it is right off of the interstate, uh, basically right at a junction with Highway 89 and uh, Interstate 80. You pull right in, it's right in the front of this, uh, basically a strip mall, lots of different businesses. and. Uh, yeah, the, the parking is open and this is one of those designs that allows for full pull through parking. Really, you, you should have no uh, difficulty accessing this. Now, this site could be really busy on peak hours, but it's going to be a bear probably just to find a parking spot, period, let alone a charging spot. But I don't know that I should necessarily mark this site down for that, this isn't really a formal sort of retail shopping plaza. Uh, this is more a, a highway stop, someplace where you, you know, grab a, a, grab things that you need and go. So, I, I'm going out on a limb here, and like I said, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 for access. Now, for amenities, I'm actually giving it a 9 out of 10. Again, this site has pretty much everything that you need. Uh, you know, the, there's questions about whether you'd be able to access all of the services 24 hours a day, probably not, but, um, you know, otherwise, really all it's missing is some sort of a covering. They get a lot of snow up here, a lot of ice, a lot of sleet. You, you don't want the, the chargers exposed, um, and there's no real level two here though I don't know how, how much of a use case there would actually be for a level two charger, but still it is missing from the site. So overall I'm only giving it a nine out of 10 for amenities. For site concentration, well there are four chargers, that's just above average. So it's gonna get a six out of 10 for site concentration. Now, like I said, this does share a, a location with two EVgo chargers but those are really slow chargers and frankly for a lot of electric vehicles they might actually re replace the the use case for level two chargers at this site um, so I, I still you can't you can't credit electrify america's site with something that evgo put in here as well so i am treating them as two sort of separate and distinct sites it's just nice to know that even though there are only four chargers here you will have the option if all four are occupied or say one of them isn't uh, activated right now you can always uh, pop around the back and uh, go uh, charge up on the evgo chargers they'll be slower but they might still be faster than waiting for one of these chargers to clear up so um Still though, only four chargers right off of an interstate, right off of a highway in an interstate junction, only getting a six out of 10 for concentration. For location, I am gonna give this a nine out of 10. And you know, this is a little bit like that Rockland Electrify America site that I reviewed, only it's a little bit different because it's much farther afield 
than a major metropolitan area like Sacramento. I think these chargers that are out in sort of the wild are far more important for travel. I think they're the types of chargers that we need to see more of for trips and um, you know it, it, to ena enable long distance travel, to enable uh, trips away from home and so that sort of bumps up the importance. Yes, there are a lot of chargers along this route, but they're all really slow and they're not really compelling sites. And I think this is a huge upgrade to our current infrastructure along this route. Interstate 80 is a route that people use to cross the country. So it should basically be populated with sites like this every 20 to 30 miles. So uh, really important site in my opinion. Uh, and yeah, it's a nine out of 10 for location. Now the speed, again, these are uh, 350 kilowatt and 150 kilowatt chargers. There's nothing faster. There's nothing charges faster than that. Um, yeah, it's an easy 10 out of 10. And all of these sort of Electrify America sites that have the 350 kilowatt charging are gonna be rated at a 10 out of 10 until something changes. Either faster charging becomes available or vehicles that need faster than 350 kilowatt charging become available. So for now it's a 10 out of 10 for speed. That brings the total site score for this Truckee Electrify America site to 44 out of 50. That's a pretty strong B. That's a, you know, that's almost an A. Just a couple of small things that they could change here or there. This is a really compelling site. It's a really important site. It's going to be a helpful site for travel. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see it. I'd love to hear what you think. Have you been able to use these chargers yet? Have you, uh, do you drive up I-80, go through Truckee, go to Tahoe? Uh, is this a type of trip that uh, interests you? If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It helps out the channel and uh, thank you for watching.